Langston started out on a section of town what used to be called Roan Hill, over by what is now University Parkway. It started in a log cabin, and then in 1893, the new school had been completed, and the kids marched in the rain singing from Thankful Baptist to the new school. For us, uh, Langston was the cultural center for African American life in Johnson City. Everything that happened in our, in our black community had its origin there. So many things to look forward to, such as an arts festival, uh, the parades downtown on Thursday night. The band would march through town. Downtown would just literally close up. People would be hanging out of the shops to watch the band. Langston was always a community, I want to say knitted school. It was great because our teachers told us. They never let us forget that you could do or be whoever or whatever you wanted to do. The schools were in continual existence from 1893 to 1965 when desegregation came about. It became a, almost a fantasy, I'm sure, of each of my friends and myself to attend Langston High School and to have watched it deteriorate over the many, many years has been really sad. Because of the growth of Johnson City, it's becoming more diverse. So we're, as I said, we're looking at creating a multicultural center and have a common place to meet and learn and, and network. Well, as we've always said, that Langston is the gateway to downtown Johnson City. It's going to be a big attraction off of I-26. We've got an excellent location to bring notice to the downtown area of Johnson City. The biggest challenge as any project is funding. The city is going to preserve the building now, but in its present state, it's, it's lacking a few features. Uh, ultimately, we're renovating the what's left of the school, which is the gymnasium. For visitors, I'd like them to be able to approach the building and immediately get a bit of the historical aspect in the entryway and the ex exhibit to understand that this, this little school did have an important part in this community. Not just the, the structure has stood the test of time, we want the facility itself to, to carry on the history of Langston and long after even I'm gone that people will understand what Langston meant to this area. It wasn't just a building, I don't know, I don't know how to tell you, how to express to you, it was a school but it was a haven. It was a haven of where you knew you could go, you could learn, you could be comfortable, and you knew people like you.